Hello, and welcome to the demonstration of Newport Oriel Instruments Quantum Efficiency Measurement System. This video will walk through the necessary steps to get the system safely up and running, the process of shutting down the system, and share a few best practices along the way. The steps shown in this video are also applicable to other Quantex models offered by Newport and documented in their respective user manuals. Upon unpacking the system and finding a suitable location to set up, it's recommended to secure the system to an optical breadboard or table as the posts are smooth and may slide. To comfortably fit the system, we recommend Newport Optical Breadboard Model IG-23-2. Before we begin the demonstration, it's important to follow the necessary safety precautions as outlined in the user manual. It's important to wear powder-free gloves when handling the lamp as we never want to touch the bulb with our bare hands. We start the setup of the system by attaching the sample stage to the slide rail below the output optical assembly. Loosen the thumb screw on the sample stage until the end is flush with the bottom of the V groove on the inside of the stage. Place the right side of the stage over the right side of the rail. Pivot the stage to place its left side over the rail. Now tighten the thumb screw to secure the stage. Next, we install the 100 watt xenon arc lamp into the lamp housing. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws of the top cover to take off the lamp housing cover. The lamp cage retention cover is removed by unscrewing the thumb nut. Gently squeeze together the handles of the lamp retaining clip to disengage from the posts, letting it pivot back to its open position. Remove the new lamp from its packaging and hold it by the ceramic base. Gently lower the lamp into the cage. Guide the reflector into the recessed groove of the seating plate. Make sure that the reflector is centered on the plate. Engage the lamp retaining clips over the back of the reflector on either side within the posts. Slide the power supply connector into the circuit of the lamp cage and connect the cable. Note that the cable is keyed, so there is no risk of reversing polarity. Replace the retention cover by securing the thumb screw. Install the top cover of the housing. And tighten the four Phillips screws. Secure the light shield, part number 71310, to the output port of the optical assembly. Next, we connect all the cables to the correct ports as detailed in the user manual. Prior to plugging in the AC power cord, ensure that the monochromator is turned on by flipping the switch upward to 1. Now we can plug in the power and turn on the system with the main switch on the back. There should be an audible mechanical turning as the grating initializes. Next, power on the laptop supplied with the equipment. After startup, Connect the USB cable to a port on the laptop and the other end into the port on the rear panel of the instrument. This port is denoted by the USB symbol. Now we can initialize the software program by opening the shortcut from the desktop. Check that all components in the top right corner have been initialized correctly, denoted by the icons turning green. Now we are ready to turn on the lamp taking note that the chopper has been successfully enabled. It's recommended to wait at least 15 minutes for the light source to stabilize before taking measurements or calibrating the system. 
This is the reference standard used to calibrate the monitor detector and ensure accurate external quantum efficiency measurements. We make electrical connection using the supplied BNC cable to the port labeled sample on the back of the instrument. Its calibration file has been provided with the system and will be loaded during the calibration process as detailed in the manual. This is the reference standard containing both a high and low reflectance optical component, which is used to calibrate the reflectance detector and ensure accurate internal quantum efficiency measurements. There are no electrical connections necessary. To verify the working distance, place the standard on the stage with the focusing target, the small rectangle, in the light path. The output beam size should resemble the size of the target. The high and low reflectance optics are at the same height as this target. Simply align the standard underneath the output beam. This is the silicon test cell used to verify the system calibration. Connect the red and black pins into the jacks on the stage, then use the BNC to mini grabber cable to complete the circuit. Align the output beam in between the metal bus bars, avoiding direct illumination. A final test of this sample has been performed by the factory and provided on the USB drive. This can be used to compare results. For best performance, room lights and nearby light sources can be turned off. There should be minimal vertical stage adjustment needed during calibration and verification testing as all three of these components are at the same height. When you're ready to shut down the system, the first thing to do is exit the software by clicking the red X in the top right corner of the program. The laptop can now be powered down and the USB cable disconnected. Disconnect the sample or reference standard under test. Turn off the light source by flipping the switch to zero. It's important to wait approximately five to 10 minutes for the lamp housing to cool down before shutting off the main system. Once the fans inside the housing stop, this is a clear indication that it's safe to do so. Finally, we can power down the instrument from the switch on the rear panel. We may leave the monochromator switch in the on position ensuring this component is always initialized at startup. As shown in this demonstration, getting a Newport quantum efficiency measurement system safely up and running is a straightforward process. But if you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly at orielpv.service at newport.com or by calling the toll-free sales number 1-877 835-9620.